because I know how busy directors are and actors. Trying to stay busy right now, that's for sure. <laughs> You've got meetings all day long at the Four Seasons, and uh, it's just uh, terrible, terrible price uh, to pay for fame. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, someday, hopefully, that'll be the case. <laughs> So Vanilla is, is your new film, and it's a road trip, it's a buddy picture, it's, it's a romance, it's a comedy. How did you come up with the idea for this? Yeah, so Vanilla, uh, a lot of it was inspired by some personal experience I had had with a combination of saying, hey, I want to make a first film, and I kind of want to do that on my terms, and what kind of stories might lend itself to that type of process. And so uh, a few years before making the film, I had gone on a very uh, fun road trip, not quite as uh, complicated as the one <laughs> in the film, uh, but <clears throat> went on a really fun road trip with an ex a now ex-girlfriend. And uh, so that kind of planted the seed uh, in my mind that uh, was kind of the kickoff for our relationship. And so uh, was able to draw on that experience for the rough framework around uh, the story of Vanilla and then... I have a fair amount of experience in the kind of startup world and the tech world and the app building world, as well as the, uh, obviously the filmmaking world and the stand-up comedy world here in New York. So uh, kind of was able to weave in those, those worlds as I uh, was thinking through the, the story of Vanilla. Is it a tough life, uh, you know, being a stand-up comic? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if I'd go so far as to say I'm a professional stand-up comic. I definitely... Uh, do it uh, as more, I'd say, a hobby. And I think most of my time is spent on the writing and directing. But that's actually how Kelsey, who plays Kimmy, the, the other lead in the film, that's how uh, we met and we became close. So it was through a friend uh, and doing open mics around New York City. But yeah, I mean, in a, at least for me, yeah, super hard. You know, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, it's hard to get up there every night. And, uh, you know, I think the gratifying thing is trying out new material and you find out very quickly whether or not it works as opposed to a movie like Vanilla, which I was just looking up earlier today. I think the first email I sent about the project was in, you know, May 2017. So uh, a little bit longer to get your jokes uh, heard or seen <laughs> in this route. And I think that's that's a difficulty in in doing a comedy is, is understanding the pacing of how that because it's a different pacing than doing in front of a live audience. It's you have to, uh, you know, I think hear the audience in a theater laughing. Or yeah, home. yeah, and uh, and I did a fair amount of test screenings and feedback screenings when we had an initial cut of the film to try to figure out exactly that. And I would get you know eight to ten friends, or even better, friends of friends in you know my apartment or a friend's apartment, and just put on the movie and kind of sit in the back and just sweat through my shirt and see, <laughs> see, uh, see when people laughed or if they laughed or, you know, obviously a lot of times they didn't laugh. And, the hardest, uh, it's the hardest group of people to, to perform in front of in any, in any kind of way as family or friends. Oh, totally. I, uh, I think the first feedback screening I did was for my family and I wanted to just get that out of the way and they you know they didn't hold back there were certain scenes <laughs> where my you know my dad would, was yelling at the screen like cut 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 <laughs> it's almost like Thanksgiving it's just uh, a free-for-all basically exactly exactly but uh I, I like to think that as stressful uh as those experiences were and as many shirts that I sweat through um it made the movie better for when it finally played to to audiences and now out uh, on on demand. Tell me a little bit about your co-star, because Kelsey is just amazing. Oh yeah, she's phenomenal. I feel so fortunate to have had uh, the chance to work with her. But uh, you know, this was both of our first real kind of like big projects. And like I mentioned, uh, we had met through the kind of stand-up open mic scene. We had a mutual friend and we started doing open mics together and we're just getting along. And uh, I thought she was, you know, funny and uh, charismatic and uh, super, like, smart. And I started thinking about, you know, who might be someone who would be both willing to participate in this movie in a very kind of independent process, but also be willing and able to kind of carry it and, and put in the work and... Uh, and yeah, so she was amazing. And I kind of said, hey, here's, a, here's the concept. I want to, you know, write this thing. And 
uh, collaborate on it with you and then hit the road and, and see if we can make something that's, you know, fun and watchable. And I honestly, I, I think, uh, I feel so fortunate she was part of it. She's just, she's just great. And the third character in, in, in your, in your comedy is the van itself, because it, it's, it's, I mean, really is, um, a location, uh, totally. and, and shooting totally. in vehicles I hear is a very difficult task. Yeah, it, it was definitely challenging. Uh, that was our, you know, picture vehicle, obviously the one you see on screen, which is, you know, for people listening, it's a 1995 Dodge Ram van, uh, <laughs> model 2000, I think. And, uh, and I found it on Craigslist and I knew I wanted to find something that was, you know, had a bit of uh, rough around the edges and a bit of, and a bit of history. Yeah. Um, and, and it was really great. I mean, it was a little scary at times cause it was, you know, that thing, that thing was old, but we, we used it as both our production van and our, uh, and our picture vehicle. So, you know, everybody was in the van on the road trip and uh, we were shooting as we, as we went. So, uh, it was kind of authentic in that way where we really did the road trip from New York to, uh, to New Orleans. And, you know, you get the van and then we find out that it has that mechanical seat in the back that slowly, <laughs> <laughs> slowly cranks down. And I'm like, all right, well, that's going to, you know, that's going to get written in. So yeah. it was, uh, it was amazing. And I miss it. I had to, I had to let go of it, uh, but, but I miss it. Yeah. Uh, anyway, t tell us again where we can find Vanilla. I know it's streaming. It's available iTunes, Amazon, uh, Vimeo, it's going to be on, I think like Xbox and PlayStation and kind of like all the voodoo, all the usual suspects. So, uh, any of your preferred streaming options, look for it and, and you should be able to find it. I really like this film again. It is, it is, uh, brilliantly done and it's, it's one of those very human buddy pictures that we don't get to see too much. I mean, uh, there, there's a lot of, like I said at the very beginning of this interview, a lot of angst in this movie that just mm. seems to, you seem to play on very well. So it's, it's, it's very well written and acted. And if you're a fan of Vans like I am, because I, I, that's all I see is Van movies. <laughs> uh, well, thank you very much. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, ideally we made a kind of a lighthearted, fun, and, you know, somewhat thought-provoking romantic comedy road movie. And, uh, we had a lot of fun making it, so hopefully people have a good time watching it. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Oh, absolutely. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it.